G'day guys, I had a special request for a nursery tour. So this is Sophie's room. She's been in here since she was just before six months and she's now 17 months old. So first off, we've got the change table. Now this was really important for me. I wanted to have something that I could change her nappy at a good height for my back so that I didn't hurt my back doing it. We've definitely gone through a period where I've been changing her on the floor, um, but we've gone back to the change table a little bit now and just have the tambourine for her to play with while she's on there. And I'll talk to her about the animals. So we've got the elephant, the giraffe, and I'll mention those to her. Um, while she's on there. As you probably know, we do a combination of cloth nappies and disposable nappies. So we do the cloth nappies now when she's at childcare for those two mornings a week, and otherwise we use disposables. When I was home full time not working, we did um, cloth nappies for a while full time and that worked well. When I went back to work, it was just too much with the cloth nappies with trying to get them washed and cleaned and dried and back on again. So on days that I'm not working, I've taken that stress away and I just do disposable nappies. But I've found with childcare, it's really handy to have the cloth nappy. She does two days in a row and then I wash that afternoon. So it works out really well. When Sophie moved to this room, we also bought this heater because we're able to control the temperature. When Sophie was still in our room, we used the ducted heating. But when she came down here, we wanted to control the heat, but it's only a really small room. So if we use the central heating, then it was just heating up too much. So we went with this Polo heater, which has been awesome. We can set the temperature and whenever it gets to that, it turns on and heats again. As you'll notice, this room is really quite dark and that's because Sophie would rather do anything else but sleep. She would rather play. So we've made it as dark as possible so that that's what she's got to do. If it's dark, I just need to go to sleep. So our flannelette sheets. <laughs> So the fitted flannelette sheets are covering the windows and we've got blinds behind them, but light was still getting through. Um, and even behind that on one of them, I put some black cardstock just to block out the light and that worked really well, but I found these flannelette sheets don't let the light in. So that's really awesome. And then next, Sophie loves reading books. So this is how we're storing the books. So if you saw our Ikea vlog, then you'll see that these are picture ledgers um, and we've used them to put her books up there and it works really, really well. There's actually a little ridge that they can sit on and then they hook in so they're not falling out. And I've got it at that height so Sophie can't just grab them down herself. Um, sometimes we just have them down here on the footstool as well so that she can just grab books when she wants to. But we have books all over the house. So other things we've tried with this was having them in a box, um, but I really like them displayed. And Sophie will now come in and point to which book that she wants to read. And we always read a book before she has a sleep. So she chooses what book she wants to read now. So that's been awesome. So what we've got here is the rocking chair. This has been really helpful because it rocks quite freely. And then it's got a footstool that actually rocks as well. Um, so I've used this for breastfeeding for those long afternoon naps that she didn't want to do the full two hours. I've sat in there and rocked her to get her more than that 20, 40 minute mark. But yeah, mainly reading her books and the breastfeed before she goes to sleep at night, which I just stopped last month at 16 months. Um, she'd had enough of that. So that's what we do in that chair. So that's been really, really good. So next we've got my old phone and a little table next to it, which plays the white noise. So overnight we have the white noise going all night um, and just helps to keep Sophie asleep. Like I said, any excuse not to sleep. So that's really worked for us. Um, and I think we'll wean off that pretty soon. Okay, next we've got this awesome wall art, which is animals. I wanted the theme of this room to be animals as we've been on lots of safaris and absolutely love them. And then because we weren't sure if we're having a boy or a girl, we went for a very gender neutral nursery theme. We bought this off eBay as well as the other ones. And as you can see, it does peel up, but it hasn't fully peeled off yet. <laughs> Next we've got the baby monitor. So that's a VTEC bear. It's actually the second one. The first one, the temperature was like five degrees out after a few months. Not sure why, um, but we got another one. It was really easy to change over. It wasn't a problem. Um, and that's been fantastic. Yes, there's a little bit of blue tack here because it flashes if the parent unit isn't on or it's just a constant light. So once again, Sophie was staring at that. So we put that on. And lastly, we've got this cot. We bought it secondhand with the change table. Um, so got a fantastic discount on it. And she also provided us with these um, cot covers so that Sophie doesn't bite on it. But as you'll see, 
she's been gnawing down this end. So that's Sophie's nursery. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and let me know other videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Alrighty, bye! bye.